Thank you for joining Hawaii Wellness Network and we are very excited to have a, a person that is in our magazine that is amazing and it's such a huge topic right now, um, fertility and staying healthy and acupuncture and thanks Dina Rossetti for coming. Thank you Lori for having me. And so you, every time I go into your office you have pictures of babies and families all over the walls and it's just amazing. Yeah, I brought some pictures today in case, you know, you wanted to share some stories. And that's such a huge topic. I, you know, I've talked to a couple women in the last couple weeks and they just, you know, are trying, they, that's the big word that we've been trying for a year yeah. or two and it's just, you know, so frustrating because it's, you know, life has changed, the environment, the foods we're eating and our bodies have changed. So. It's, it's nice that they can call you and get some assistance and help. And exactly. I think that one of the great things about traditional Chinese medicine is that we bring back an awareness to people of how to eat. Yes. How to eat just yeah. natural, normal, traditional food that you cook yourself at home. People well, have what forgotten a concept, how to do right? this. Yeah. And this, this whole ne last generation doesn't know how to cook. Yeah, and, the, and their parents and everybody's been so busy, so it's almost a trend coming back because we, we have to. Yes, it's really surprising to me because I grew up in a family where we did cook, and then I met my teacher, thank goodness, at a young age where we cooked in the clinic every single day. So we never ate fast, I've never eaten fast food in my life, and I realize now that I've, I've been in practice for so many years that some people live eating fast food and then they wonder why they're sick. So. Right, or can't get pregnant. Or can't get Their pregnant. Their bodies aren't, aren't yeah, just producing the correct hormones and everything to to make things. And, and it'll be a lot better to go to you than do the, I, what is it, the I, I, in vitro fertilization. In vitro and all the, because they have to do hormone shots mm -hmm. and, have to, and it's very expensive. It is very expensive. Fortunately in Hawaii we do have um, medical insurance covers it so medical insurance will cover one IVF per couple but it is extremely expensive it usually works one out of every five times so having one IVF covered by your insurance is not it's barely giving you a chance to conceive but if you can combine acupuncture Chinese med traditional medicine with your IVF procedure, it's proven to be 65% more effective. That's great. Do you want to talk about your background and how you got started? My background is a little bit varied. I have different stories according to what I can remember. But when I was about 12 years old, my dad had a triple bypass. And I was always a very inquisitive library little girl <laughs> and so I went to the librarian and I told her that I wanted to see some books about the heart so she knew that I had you know always been in the library and she was familiar with me so she actually showed me some anatomy books and I got so fascinated by the whole medical section of the library that I practically never left it until this day <laughs> I'm still living there and um, I started studying uh, some Chinese philosophies and things like that when I got into high school and my parents actually started buying me medical books and then it was just a sort of a natural progression I knew I didn't want to go into Western allopathic medicine because I knew that it wasn't quite right you know when my dad had his bypass and then you know just having various illnesses as a child and always having to go into the doctor and get shots uh, my mom was a little bit more on the natural side of things. She would always go to the chiropractor first, no matter what was going on with her. And then when I was just barely in college, I had a really severe car accident where I was almost killed. And um, they wanted to do surgery on my neck. I had three herniated discs. But my mom came and picked me up from the hospital and she said, well, you know, just try to rest for a little while and then try going to the chiropractor. So I went to the chiropractor three times a week for a year and then I got some Chinese medical treatment. And I found my neck so vastly improved within about three sessions. I just thought, this is incredible, I have to study this. And I originally just wanted to study it for myself just to continue the studying that I'd been doing since I was a kid. But um, after about four years of working with my teacher, she made me get my license. <laughs> That's a great thing. And, and did you study in the U.S. at a school? I or? studied initially in Japan. I went to Japan for a year and studied there. And then I 
moved to San Francisco where I met Dr. Angela Wu and I studied with her for 10 years. Wow, that's amazing. What, what a great mentorship and opportunity. Yes, yeah, she was amazing. We're and now I'm studying with life. Master Shaw. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, you, you can work with everybody with acupuncture and Eastern medicine and even with women going through menopause yes. or just general health, energy, pain. Yes, anything. women and menopause. And they won't get pregnant if I no. come in. Okay. <laughs> just, I won't sit on that chair then. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also teenagers, teenage girls in Hawaii. I mean, I'm sure in the whole U.S., but we have a terrible problem here of drinking cold drinks. And cold drinks are really bad for your uterus and can cause you to have heart problems, heart palpitations, headaches, painful, painful periods, uh, irregular periods, all kinds of weird, bizarre problems and just I, from drinking ice drinks. I have a confession. <laughs> no, everybody doesn't know this. This is what, what you learn on the show. I eat ice. Oh, I, no. I know. It's such a horrible thing, and I, like, crave it. It's one of those... Those crazy things, and I know it's like uh, part of anemia or lack of iron, but I get tested and I'm fine. So that even though the test says that you're fine, you personally may need more than what the test tests you for. Right. Because the test is only an average. The test, what they consider, they put in the fine category, is what is an average across the country. So our fine is actually quite lower than Japan's fine. Right. Because they eat a lot more seafood, so they have a lot more iodine in their diet and iron and things yeah, like that. Yeah, it could be more something like that. But that's mm -hmm. yeah, and it, I wonder why I, you know, have pain and cramps and that kind of thing. So thank you for basically <laughs> something right now. And it, and I crave ice, and it's probably it's not a good habit. But. Yeah, I mean, if we just could all teach our daughters not to drink cold drinks, we would have we'd have far fewer. Girls missing school. I did and, not know that. Yeah, wow. in pain, suffering for no reason. And why does the the cold contribute? Well, to that? in Chinese medicine, we have the basic philosophy of yin and yang. So your uterus is in the most yin position in your body as it is. So your head is always going to radiate heat, and your feet are naturally going to be a little bit cooler than your head. With your uterus being at the bottom of your trunk, it's already the coldest area in your trunk and cold naturally descends. So if you eat something that's cold, it could get stuck in the base of your trunk. So in like mm -hmm. a, the Master Shaw system or in the more philosophical spiritual part of it, we call it the first soul house. Um, in Chinese medicine, it's an acupuncture point called the Hui Yin or in Western um, anatomy, we call it the perineum. So that area could become cold and contracted and that affects all the surrounding organs, even your intestines. Interesting. But especially your reproductive organs. Wow, and I've had pain for 20 years, so that's very, well, <laughs> I'm glad you came on, to, and we'll have to talk more about getting yeah. some, some treatments. So you incorporate the acupuncture as well as the, the spiritual with Dr. Shaw, because obviously that all works together. Yes, I feel really fortunate in that I don't know that if I hadn't met Dr. Wu, I don't know that I would have ever met Master Shaw because I was drawn to him, actually was pushed to him by my, my other Chinese medicine friends because after I moved here, I got phone calls from one of my friends on the Big Island and another girlfriend in San Francisco that said, oh, you have to get this book, you have to get this book, you have to study these teachings, Master Shaw, Master Shaw. And then I met another doctor here, her name is Elizabeth Christensen, and she kept saying, oh, my teacher, Dr. Shaw, my teacher, Dr. Shaw, you have to meet my teacher, Dr. Shaw. And then I got your email that said, Dr. Shaw is coming to Honolulu. And I thought, oh, this is too much of a coincidence. I have to go. So I went to meet Dr. Shaw. It's about three years ago now. And I, my ability at work has increased dramatically. My ability to diagnose people has improved dramatically. I can diagnose people much more quickly through the pulses and tongue diagnosis and also listening. We have, we have a lot of uh, diagnos diagnostic techniques in Chinese medicine, but they've all increased dramatically. My patients are getting better faster, and I'm using self-healing techniques that Master Shaw outlines in the various books, as well as the Divine Healing Hands, which is a divine treasure that's given to us through either Master Shaw or one of the worldwide representatives. Great. And we're actually filming the love piece. Yes. 
Well, wonderful. Do you want to show some of the pictures of the baby sure. and the family? Well, in, in Dr. Shaw's book, he does have a little story about twin, um, twin boys that they were threatened to have a miscarriage at 13 weeks. And we so, so we perfect. We can see the I'm pictures. I'm not sure if up. I have their picture, but they, um, their little lives, I can say that their little lives were saved by yeah. having divine healing hands because the mo mother was having severe bleeding and the doctor said, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. They just um, couldn't do anything. So they said, just wait until tomorrow and we're going to do an ultrasound and that's it. So wow. fortunately, we were able to get the bleeding stopped through doing two Divine Healing Hands sessions during that evening. And by the next morning, the bleeding had stopped. And when she went to have her ultrasound, everything was fine. Both babies were fine. Wow. Yeah, and they were both born healthy. So you go into her office, and there's <laughs> pictures of babies everywhere. <laughs> it's really neat. All these families and And this babies. is one of my favorite stories. Um, this is Lisa and Jeff. They live in Kaneohe, and they originally came to me. They were trying to get pregnant for several months, and I don't know why they, th they thought of acupuncture, but they came to me, and within two months, they were able to conceive. And then I saw them ag again a couple years later, and they wanted to try to conceive again. So we tried for a couple months, and this time it took a little bit longer. I think it took about five months, and they did have to... Um, take Clomid this time, <laughs> but they ended up with Clomid? triplets. Is Clomid is a fertility, fertility drug, yeah, so that triplets, helps you to wow. have more eggs. And they did; they have now. So now they have, they have four boys. Wow! So they had one before they had another baby. Yes, they had one the first time and three the second time. And this is another set of triplets. Yeah, uh, that's another set of twins, triplets. More twins. <laughs> Lots of twins and triplets. <laughs> and this is fun because um, his mom just gave me this picture. He's four years old now, and this is like from the year he was born. <laughs> wow. Need to be able to keep up with the, the kids and the parents. And, and, the, and yeah. the, m most likely the, the moms continue treatment with you to yes. stay healthy. And this, this was an amazing story. She hadn't been able to conceive for 13 years until she started doing acupuncture. She was able to get pregnant with IVF um, the first time that they tried. She had been through so many IVFs, it was just unbelievable. So yeah, lots of love, lots of babies. <laughs> a few twins, a few triplets. Yes, lots, lots in the mixture. Yes. <laughs> it must be interesting when they bring the babies in. It's so awesome. Let's see everybody. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. How does um, someone get in touch with you if they'd like just general information or? Well, they can always go to my website, which is lifecenteredacupuncturecare.com or the Hawaii Wellness Directory yeah, website. Hawaii. Or you can find me in the Hawaii Wellness Directory. Or you can call me at 808-349-0806. Well, thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you so much.